Merry Christmas fellow YouTubers, I'm Christopher Golosi of Golosi Enterprises LLC and today we're going to do a Christmas ham. What I did in here was I picked up an already uh, brown sugar cured ham. It was the only thing I could find. So I'm going to kind of doctor it up a little bit with the glaze. Normally I use pineapple juice to make the glaze with honey, light brown sugar, Whole, I don't use whole cloves, but it says whole cloves, but I ground them up into ground cloves. A little bit of ground ginger and a little bit of ground allspice. Very simple recipe. I'll show you how to make the glaze and then we're going to use the indirect cooking method with the juice at the bottom here to help increase that moisture. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. Folks, as you saw in the previous video, this is one of my fire starters. This is one of my uh, charcoal starters right here. All we do is put the charcoal in it, fill it up. You're probably wondering where I bought this. I didn't, I got it made. So we just won't ask any more questions on that. So we're gonna get this guy started. We're gonna put it in. For those that don't know about charcoal starters, the reason why we use them, it gives us a uniform burn and it's a lot quicker. Okay, fellow YouTubers. Since we're working on our charcoal right now, getting it all nice and hot with the chimney starter, or I'm sorry, the charcoal starter, we're going to use our glaze right now, make it. Now, it really doesn't take much, but this is all estimation. So we're going to use our juice, put it in, and we're going to bring it up to a slow boil. While we're doing that, we gotta have our whisk and just pay attention because it's going to get really busy here. While that's happening, we're going to use our stuff here. We're going to use some whole cloves. Now for this one, because remember, our ham is a sugar ham. There is no seasoning other than sugar, so what we're going to do and we go one, two things of cloves, or I should say two teaspoons of cloves, just for a little different, we're going to go a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. And we're going to do a half a teaspoon of allspice. I'm writing this down because I'll leave it down in the credits for you guys for the, uh, the recipe on how to make the blades. While this is happening, I'm going to just whisk it. And we're going to pour our honey in. Now, if your honey is like mine, it's all sugary, that means it uh, crystallized. No big deal. There's nothing wrong with it. Just heat it up a little like I did mine. And you're going to put about a cup in here. All right, now that we got all of our spices in here, with the exception of brown sugar, because remember, this is a brown sugar glaze ham. What I'm going to do is just stir it up a little bit and just for good luck as they say I'm going to put a little bit of brown sugar in anyway. Now I'm using the light brown sugar all natural. Okay. Now what this is going to do is just going to help the glaze form. I'm going to use two tablespoons. Once again, I'm going to just keep this stirring because I don't want it to boil, I just want it to reduce. Well, 
Welcome back fellow YouTubers. Right now our glaze is done. We have it on a slow simmer just under a boil. Now we're going to come back over to here because our charcoal is done. We're going to use the indirect cooking method. Alright. I picked these up years ago. These are a divider. Now I already put some charcoal on the bottom of it. That way when I put the hot coals on it'll just automatically burn down. So, that being said, kids, don't try this at home. This is hot and it's dangerous. And we just dump them in. Put this on a safe spot. Put your coals. Now this is where this pays off at, right here. Separate them. Now, here, now this is my little preference. You don't have to do it if you don't like to, but I like to put a couple coals on the bottom. Put her pan down. Now, with our juice, because we want to get that nice steaming action in there, we're going to pour the juice in on and then we're going to put the ham right on top now with that being said we're going to put the glaze on all right now with the glaze there's a couple different methods some say uh, marinate it in there some say soak it overnight and I'm not sure who's better I just look at it this way put it all on top that run down Now you put the glaze on, just cover the lid, set your time, you're going to wait about 45 minutes to an hour. That's the minimum time for this guy. So with that, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay YouTubers, we always check the temperature. We want the internal temperature roughly about 135 degrees. And right now, we are pretty much there. Just double check a couple more spots. And we're looking very good here. That being said, we're going to let it cook just a little bit more. We're going to give it a quick glaze again. Remember you want to cover everything. In about another five, ten minutes, we're going to pull it out completely and let it rest. So fellow YouTubers, welcome back. And now the ham is done. It's going to take us, just take it out of here. We're going to use our forks. And we can just get in underneath. Left it on that tray, and there we are. A couple things. The reason why I cooked it face down is so all the juices could flow over it. Also, just as a side note, make sure that you can actually put this underneath your Weber. Thank you very much. Have a nice day and Merry Christmas.